it happens to all of us at some point, but maybe you have had an interaction with somebody lately that is really toxic and is leaving you feeling kind of icky. Today, I'm going to share with you my three tips for dealing with toxic people. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jen, I am a life coach and law of attraction teacher and you have found my YouTube channel where I upload two new videos every week all about creating your best life ever. So, life isn't always a bed of roses. Unfortunately, we all come across some really not great situations from time to time and a lot of the time those situations have nothing to do with you. So today I wanted to talk a little bit about toxic people and toxic interactions and how you can start to uh, learn from this experience and know how to handle it next time something happens to you. So I've had this experience very recently where this person um, that I know peripherally um, came up to me and said something to me at a party that I found very offensive. And I have to tell you guys, at first, I didn't handle it very well. I mean, I didn't go around yelling or screaming or anything like that, but I was really upset. I let this person really upset me. So I have been thinking a lot about toxic interactions ever since then and toxic people. So because we don't live in a bubble, because this stuff is gonna come up from time to time, I just wanted to, to come on here today and address this kind of issue and give you guys some advice and some coping tips so you'll know how to better handle it next time this kind of thing might happen to you. Okay, my tip number one for dealing with toxic people, it's very important, you guys, is to understand that there is no such thing as a toxic person. So people have been using this word toxic people, toxic person, um, as a way of describing somebody that they are not having a good interaction with. But this is completely not the right way to look at things. Of course, we might not get along well with everybody. We might occasionally run into somebody that is intentionally rude or insulting to us. But that person, you have to understand, is not toxic. There is no such thing as a truly toxic person person. This person has good qualities. This person gets along well with other people. This person has a life and motivations that we simply don't understand. And for whatever reason, they are choosing to act a certain way with us, to tell us certain things, to exclude us, whatever it is that you are experiencing. That is something that you may never understand, but that is okay. You have to remember the bigger picture. And the bigger picture is that this person isn't actually toxic. They are picking on you, excluding you, saying mean things about you, whatever it is, they are doing that, but there are still <laughs> redeeming qualities. And I know it's really hard to remember that in the heat of the moment, but I would really ask you to try to remember that this person is bigger than the mean thing that they are doing to you. So try to remember that, hold it in your heart. Remember, there's no such thing as a toxic person. Everyone has a story and just try to give them a little bit of the benefit of the doubt. Tip number two with dealing with a toxic person is to remember that their behavior is 100% on them. So the thing that happens when we tend to have a toxic interaction with somebody is that we start to feel like we could have done something to prevent it, or we should have done something different, we should have said something different, something should have happened and we have somehow brought this on ourselves. The thing you need to understand about dealing with any human anywhere, whether it's someone that's like a rude cashier at the grocery store or a friend of a friend that came up and said something actually really rude to you, you have to remember that their behavior is always about them. It is never a reflection of you. If you start to think that if you are just a better person that everyone in the world would treat you better, you are just setting yourself up for disappointment. People have their own stories, again, they have their own motivations and they have their own stuff that they're dealing with behind the scenes. Very often the things that we take so personally have nothing to do with us. This person was probably just kicking the nearest object and you happen to be that object. But that doesn't mean 
that there's something wrong with you. So you really have to get out of this feeling that you have brought this on yourself, that you are being personally picked on, that this has anything to do with you because this behavior, I guarantee you, is all about the other person, always. So you really have to take out your hurt feelings and feeling um, sing singled out because most of the time it isn't about us at all. Tip number three for dealing with a toxic person is to try to understand their motivation. So in my particular instance that I mentioned at the beginning of the video, uh, this person I was speaking with at a party had some weird implication that she wanted to imply that I wasn't a very good cat mother. So I took that very personally at first, of course, because who wouldn't? And anyone that knows me knows how much time I spend out of my day making my cat happy. <laughs> So of course I was very, very offended by this comment at first, but later on I had to come back and dissect it and really think about what this person was saying. And the question I had to ask myself is, does this person really think that I'm an unfit cat mother? And the answer I have to go with is no, because if this person really thought that I wasn't taking proper care of my animal, they would probably do something real about it. They would probably call uh, whatever the German version of the SPCA is, they probably do something and take action or have an intervention or something like that. So I have to realize that this person said this thing to me not because they're really concerned about the cat. They were picking on one thing that they knew I cared about and they really wanted to get under my skin. And so I realized that just being upset from that comment, from showing emotion about that comment, that person was achieving exactly what they wanted to achieve. I'm just giving you guys this example because I just want you help. I want you to take a step back and I want you to really think about the motivation this person might have for saying or doing whatever it is that they've done to you. Because most of the time when you can take your immediate reactions out of it and you can step back a little bit, you will start to see that this person is trying to do something or trying to say something because of the way they feel. It's not about you actually doing whatever they're accusing you of it's about them and they very often a lot of people in society it's a very sad but true point is that they try to make themselves feel better by doing or saying something to someone else that puts them down so this, these kind of people get like the best kind of um, ego boost from making sure that they feel better than other people in comparison to other people and of course that's just an ego trap right so understanding their motivation is just understanding that this person is ultimately just trying to make themselves feel better and their actions are just reflection of that. They have nothing to do with you, they're not a real opinion, they aren't really actually anything that has anything to do with you. And I know that can be really difficult to understand. I know that in the heat of the moment it can be really challenging to put yourself in the other person's shoes to understand their motivation to figure out what they're actually trying to do in the situation but if you can take a step back and you can really think about it it's pretty easy most of the time to see what people are trying to accomplish and then figure out the reasons why they're trying to accomplish that and the real reason is of course that they're trying to feel loved they're trying to feel more accepted they're trying to feel better about themselves they're trying to do all of these things and using you as leverage and as we all know, that leverage never really works out. It never really lasts. So it's really important to understand that because then you'll really see that this interaction has nothing to do with you and everything to do with them. So when you can take your emotions out of it and not feel like you are being picked on for something that has to do with who you are as a person, you will feel so much better about the interaction, you will have so much more strength, and you will be able to handle the situation so much better. So unfortunately, we all have to deal with these kinds of things from time to time. Even the brightest, shiniest people in the world will occasionally come up against somebody who feels wronged or slighted or left out or something, and in that situation will say or do something to try to make you feel bad. And just understanding the dynamic goes so far into giving you some space and coming back to remembering that this isn't really about you, it is always, always about them because we are all only responsible for our own happiness, we are all only responsible for our own actions. So if you want to be conscious of yourself, that's great. Be conscious of yourself, be conscious of your words, be conscious of your thoughts and feelings and forget what else 
somebody is trying to put on you because there is no point in trying to fix that. Okay, I hope you guys got something good out of this video. I know these situations are tricky, but just giving yourself a little mental space and a little understanding will go so far into helping diffuse the situation. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you got something out of it, do me a favor and hit that like button. And if you wanna catch more videos from me, make sure you hit that subscribe button because again, I have two new videos for you each and every week. If you want to learn more about me, come on over to the site. I have a free manifestation starter kit for you guys to download over there. And I'll be back here soon in the next video. So until then, I'm wishing you the most amazing week ever. I hope you're manifesting like crazy. And just remember, get ready for the miracle. Namaste.